welcome to the Falcon Athletics Network. I'm Sydney Young, and joining me today is Antoine Bell, UOM's Assistant Athletic Director for Athletic Communications. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Sydney. Glad to be here. Let's kick things off with women's soccer as they evened their overall record to 4-4 four and four on the season. The Falcons came out blazing in the first half of play and cruised to a 4 to nothing victory over Francis Marion University. Maritza Miljanovic led the way with two goals, not even two minutes into the game, and again, just a few minutes later, she assisted Kerry Ward in the 15th minute, while Allie Darnell rounded out the scoring for the Falcons in the 32nd minute. After the game, we spoke with head coach Jake Wyman. Take a look. The start of the game went really well. It was probably the best start of our year. I think um, probably only the third game that we scored in the first half and the first that we've scored in the first five minutes. So when, when you can start that well, um, it's always a positive. I thought the girls uh, pressed really well, which created a lot of opportunities early. I think we hit the post and hit the bar um, in the first 10 minutes. And so the, the positive start definitely um, gave us quite a bit of momentum uh, in the first half. We've got a little bit of a break, so this this coming weekend we've got a little bit of a um, it's our it's our all, it's our bye weekend, so we we don't play until Friday the eighth against Spring Hill. It's senior day, so it's a it's a big day for our senior group. We've got six six seniors, um, and you know that's two in a row for us. And you know we're we're trying to take it one game at a time, not try to get ahead of ourselves, and um, we're 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 trying to play into Spring Hill on that Friday, October 8th, and um, just try and make two conference games in a, in a row and, and three wins in a row. So uh, we're, we're one and three in the league right now. We, we've, got to, we've got to get a few more points to qualify for postseason, so. We have four young ladies that are in their fifth year, um, and that is Hannah Walkie, who is out with a season-ending injury, um, Christian Malone, uh, Angel Haley and Allie Darnell and, and the six of them, um, they, they've been part of quite a lot here, including a run to the conference championship in 2018 where we fell short to a undefeated West Florida team. And they also were part of the 2019 season where we were able to win a conference championship and um, kind of bring this program back from um, the depths, I guess. So. They, they've been through a lot. I've seen those kids um, at the highest of highs and lowest of lows. And so it'll be a special day. It'll be an emotional day. And um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that they're back this year. And they've, they've, been, they've been a catalyst for the program. And I'm um, so proud of all of them and all the work they've done over their years here. Glad to see some uh, freshmen scoring. Matza, she's worked really hard. Um, you know, she scored a brace today and added an assist, and I was just, I was just delighted. The kid is is unbelievable uh, worker, and um, just delighted to see that work pay off for her finally. So, um, and obviously, I think it was a great performance. We we could have used maybe another goal in the second half, but um, a clean sheet from the keepers and, and and the dogs in the back. So, it's always a good day when when you don't concede any goals. So. In other Falcons athletics news, Montevallo athletes are already earning some top honors this season. Right before the school year started, men's lacrosse player Thomas Faison was drafted in the first round of the NLL draft to the ba Buffalo Bandits. Women's soccer player Heather Gomez won the Gulf South Conference Freshman of the Week award. Volleyball player Casey Hendrickson has won the GSC Defender of the Week twice already this season, while men's soccer player Pneumonia Asimovic won the GSC Player of the Week. For the third week in a row, the men's soccer team has been the, in the United Soccer Coaches South Regional Poll, climbing up to number six in the region. Let's take a look at some upcoming athletics events. Volleyball faces shorter this Saturday, October 2nd, starting at 2. Then on Sunday, October 3rd, the men's golf team will travel to Valdosta, Georgia for the Super Region Preview Tournament. The men's and women's tennis teams head to Young Harris for the Young Harris College Hidden Dual Championship, while volleyball will host the Sea of Purple game on Friday, October 8th against AUM. Come out and pack the stands and make sure you wear your purple shirts. Both men's and women's soccer teams will host Spring Hill on Friday, October the 8th, with the women set to start at 5 and the men to follow at 7.30. And as you can see on your screen, here are some of the other Falcons athletics events happening in early October. 
The cross-country team competes at UAH and the Charger Invite on October the 9th. Also on October the 9th, the swim team hosts the Purple and Gold Meet, as well as volleyball taking on number 15, West Florida. That's all on October the 9th. Then on October the 10th, the men's golf team takes on, they travel to the Don Morris Fall, Fall Invitational. And also on the 10th, the men's and women's soccer team will take on West Florida with the women set to start at 1 p.m. and the men to follow at 3.30. Remember, you can get all the latest UM Athletics news 24-7 at montevallofalcons.com. That's all the time we have for today's show. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again next time.